stuff in it. So get the headband, throw you on my face, and we're gonna go do that again. My goodness, that's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Pull backwards. Pull backwards again. YouTube, you are now on my face. We're gonna go for a swim in Pratt Lake. I am also taking a 10 second delay picture with my phone. We'll hopefully end up right there. So 10 seconds, get a picture, ready, steady. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Almost in this camera. And I'm pretty sure it took a picture. All right. So, GoPro almost fell off my dome. But I believe it's still on. Hopefully there's not too much camera smudge on it. Uh, let's go for a quick uh, swim. Well, actually, I can check it right now. Looks pretty good. Put camera back on my face. That was uh, interesting to try and do. Putting camera on face. I'm trying to use only legs to keep afloat. Uh, make like a duck. Mm, make like a duck. Eventually I'll dunk my face in and we'll stare straight down into the abyss for a couple of seconds, but at the moment we're gonna make like a duck or a loon or whatever your favorite waterfowl is. I'm just gonna paddle out onto the lake. <sighs> Obviously we're looking south because the sun is probably in the frame. And that little point up there in the ridge line is the saddle where we came from. Rotating around, looking east-ish. That's where I've been hanging out all day. You can probably see the yellow of the fishing pole and the black of my hiking stick slash tripod. The outlet's over there. Obviously, I'm not alone. Rotate all the way back around. That's what the western shore looks like. If only there was a trail around to the other side of the lake. Look at all that nice open rocky shoreline to go hang out on. This lake is full of fish. I've been watching them jump if you go watch one of the other <sighs> long exposure videos it's hard to talk and breathe at the same time while swimming plus the extra pressure of the water pushing on my lungs so you know this is an exercise but anyway we go watch one of the other long exposures that one is the one I where I threw the GoPro in the lake for about a half an hour there should hopefully be a bunch of good fishies but now I think I might head back and then stick my face in the water for a bit. We can look down into the abyss of the lake and hopefully eventually see the uh, <clears throat> shoreline come up before we get too close. Right now it looks like this. Can't see bottom quite yet, although the lake is amazingly clear. So we'll go ahead and paddle back. I'm not cold, surprisingly. The lake is quite warm. It's probably a good solid 60, maybe even 65 degrees. First time I hopped in, I did get cold and a little locked up with my muscles, but now I think I'm used to it. But it's probably a solid 60, 65 degrees. Which a lot of people are going, huh, sounds cold. And yeah, I've taken a shower in 65 degree water. That's cold as heck. But when you're out here on what has turned out to be a gorgeous, sunny, 
summer July day. It's probably out of the water, 75 maybe. Nice and pleasantly warm. So being in the water feels amazing, but I can definitely start feeling myself and maybe climb up a little bit. Oh look, I think I see bottom. Let's go take a look. Yep, one more on the last 30 feet of swimming in. That bottom has become visible. But anywho, as I was saying, um, this is a dangerous activity. I am six miles from my parking lot where Rex is, and probably a good five miles from the closest parking lot, which is going to be the Tilapis Lake on the Lolly Lake Trailhead. I got a mountain ridge to climb over yet, and um, it's not warm water. Eventually, if I stay in here long enough, I will get hypothermic. So yeah, this is quite dangerous going for a swim in an alpine lake. Even though we're only at like 36 to 3700 feet probably, it's still a high elevation alpine lake. I'm going to stay out here longer. But, so it's like going doing some of the things you may see on this channel. Do I advise this? No. Well, if you're inexperienced, do not get in any water. Unless you know what your limits are. I know what my limits are. I've been doing this kind of thing oh, most of my life, not just most of my adult life. Pretty much as soon as I got out in the woods, I've been a water boy. I'm hopping in lakes and streams and such. I love swimming. I love doing this. This is why I hike to lakes is to fish and or swim in them. So I know what my limits are. I may get out long before them. In fact, I probably should get out of here pretty soon, not because I'm getting cold. But because of my time limit, it's probably with the two other long exposures I plan on taking. I am going to probably take three or three and a half hours to get back to Rex. And I still have to dry off and pack all my stuff away. I want to be out of here by like three o'clock. And it's something like 2.15. So at some point I need to, even though I don't want to, swim back in and get out of the water, but I'm enjoying this too much. <sighs> do you know what I'm gonna do? If this is on tight enough, which I believe it is. So if I can get folded over the other side of my cranium like that, I think we're gonna go for a dive down the lake bottom to see what we can find. You ready for that, YouTube? So if not, sucks to suck. Double check the camera's on tight, here we go. safely dive to about 12 feet. I have to try and pop my nose and I got down further than that so it was probably 15 feet there. And I definitely found the thermocline too. It went from 65 degree water to 50 degree water. Probably on about 10 feet. That hurt. And the camera tried to flop too. I think on my way back up. Let's try this again. Go cruise over to this rock. See if we can scare a fish. Load up my lungs with some oxygen. Feet. It definitely didn't get any colder. Uh, I really don't want to get out of this lake right now. If I could, I'd stay in it and keep swimming in it for a couple more hours. If I had nothing 
pressing to do tomorrow for I had to go to work. I not care about energy or sleep and just chug a Red Bull or an energy drink. And be good to go. I'd stay in here for probably another couple hours and hike out as the sun's setting. But tomorrow, Nash and I are going to uh, Mount Baker. We're gonna go up the. Uh, we're gonna go hike the trail portion of the easiest climbing route up Baker, the Eastern Glacier Route, which goes up to more of its meadow and shares the same trail as going up to Park Butte. So we're gonna try and do all that tomorrow, which means I need to meet him someplace, probably Arlington somewhere, by about 6 a.m., which means I have to get up at like 4:30 in the morning. So theoretically, if I want a decent night's sleep, I need to be home in bed, asleep, and ready to just roll out of bed to go tomorrow at like 4.30 because I need to have everything else charged and such and downloaded and ready to rock and roll by like 9 and 9.30. So I need to get out even though I don't want to. I'm also experimenting with shots. So I go back and edit, I can see what really worked and what really didn't work for future endeavors. Alright, let me get out. Even though I so don't want to so bad. Good things must come to an end eventually. Got my knee on that granite there. But uh, yeah. So I might duplicate this video, put it in the hiking, the main hiking video, and put it on the uh. And it's a part of its own separate swimming video, but that was swimming in Pratt Lake. Thank you for joining me.